Fun in Life Studios. I'm going to show you an edit with the AI Fresh Fall collection on this image. To start, I'm going to click the AI Fresh Fall 6. And the thing that you're going to see with this particular photo is that I'm going to turn a late summer photo into fall. So as you can see right off the bat, the eyes are like way overdone. So I'm going to the circle right up here. I'm going to click the eye enhancement. And then the awesome part about this is, is that there is a, um, like an amount slider here. So we're just going to pull that all the way down. And then the other thing that we are going to do is this mask right here, mask two. You'll see it also is for the eyes, and I'm also going to pull that one down as well. And then I am going to up the contrast because what can happen with the eye enhancements, if you have any sort of just kind of sun haze coming in and in the back, the eyes will um, be a little lighter than they need to. And the best thing that you can do for that is, one, either click your mask, up here at the circle and adjust by upping contrast or the dehaze or also over in the AI toolbox, you can go over and um, do it there, which I will show you that. So on this one, uh, the background is a little, just maybe a little overdone for me. So I'm going to click on the painterly backdrop and I'm going to bring down that as well. I'm just going to lighten it up slightly. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the saturation down just a little bit. Um, it just, I think it looks a little more natural like this. So again, that was just clicking right on here on the painterly background, bringing the slider down just a touch, and then bringing the saturation down just a little bit. So now I'm going to scroll down to the AI editing toolbox. And this is where you can really start to get very particular with your photos of just adding in the adjustments more, maybe what you would want. So the next thing that I am going to do is I am going to do the skin enhancement on this. And then I am going to bring that slider down just a little bit. And then the next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to do the people decrease temp. Now, obviously, that's way too much. It cools them down way too much. So I am going to bring that down. So like we were here, and then I'm going to just bring it more here. They had still summer tan, so I still want them to look just how they did before. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bright white for teeth. And then I'm going to just bring that down just slightly. And then the next thing that I'm going to do with the AI toolbox is I am going to do the subject sharpen. So there. And then I think that is honestly everything that I would do with this particular image. Um, Oh, actually, there is one I would do. I'm gonna do the eye. Um, I'm gonna do the eye sharpen on this one, and I want to see actually if I want to add back. So the eye enhancement, as you can see, way too much. But I am going to scroll that down just a little bit here. Not all the way down, but let's see. I'm just kind of looking right at their eyes. Just want it to look nice and natural, just eyes looking bright, but not, like I said, just not overly done. And I think right there is a good, um, is a good, you could do, we could do the, like there's like the, um, the clothing pop too, like clothing color, color pop. So switch over to that. You can up. See, there we go. So that just 
you can see there's the before and then there's after just bringing like those colors nice and bright. So um, there is more that you could do like with the background, like if you wanted more of the painterly background or like decreasing saturation, uh, decreasing background temp, uh, the painterly backgrounds are going to be, there are, right here. Those just really darken up the background, but I think for this particular photo, I like it just a little bit softer. Um, this was one that I had posted over in the group yesterday that everyone really liked. It was this one. Um, so here it is just what you saw, just different, different posts. So um, as you can see, the AI Fresh Fall 6 was super awesome for this one. And then when you go down onto the toolbox, you have all these different um, options that you can do. And then if you need to do any adjustments over in here, you can totally do that as well. So I hope this shows you just how easy this is. And then the next thing that you do for me, like for like this series, I would go to copy. And then I'm going to make sure all my masking things are clicked. And then so I would go to copy and then I can just show you here. We'll go to one of these. Um, there we go. Let's see. So if I just click paste then of everything that I just did, it's going to say that it's updating the AI settings. This can take just a second if your computer is running slow. I would just close out of any other things that maybe you have going on. Um, okay, so then this just really shows you uh, how easy that is and the color. The background is a little too strong for me on this one, so I would go up to the tools over here and I would do like the decrease of the saturation in the back. So that was before and then this is with the decrease of saturation. And to me that, that would be perfect super pretty. Uh, you can also do, um, there is the subtle, like where we just kind of brighten. Let's see. There we go. It's right above it. So if you go to like the brighten, subject brighten. So just that was before. And then this, oh, it's going a little slow, but um, as you can see, like it just brightens up those highlights like just a little bit. So uh, love this collection. I hope you guys are loving it too. Um, I'm so excited for sessions now as the light is already starting to change as we head into fall and then into fall sessions as well. This is an absolutely must have collection. So if you guys have any questions though, just let me know. I know there's definitely a learning curve with the AI presets. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, I promise you are not going to go back to regular presets. They are that good. So have a great day.